And you're welcome back. It's time for Wellness Central is our little segment inside of Breakfast Extra that's dedicated to focusing on general well-being. Yes, indeed. Now, on Wellness Central, we cover a wide range of topics related to physical, mental, and also emotional well-being. And today on the segment, we are raising awareness on Parkinson's disease. Yes, indeed. And we'll be doing just that alone. We're going to be joined in the studio uh, by two of our guests. One of them is John Akinola. He's a senior uh, programs manager at Deumi Desalu uh, Parkinson's Foundation. We're also joined by Parkinson's advocate, and that's Empress Priscilla. She's also a member of the Adeumi Adesalu uh, uh, Parkinson's Foundation. Uh, lady and gentlemen, thank, thank you, you very much for joining us. Thank you uh, for having us. First off, Let's get to understand exactly, and of course our viewers out there would like to know, what Parkinson's disease really is. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. It affects the brain. Uh, by that I mean um, there is a substance in the brain we call the dopamine. The cells in the brain produce this dopamine. And once the cells start um, reducing the production of dopamine, um, some of these um, symptoms of Parkinson's start setting in. So um, there are so many characteristics of Parkinson's. By that I mean symptoms, motor symptoms and non-motor symptoms. And the motor symptoms could be slowness in movement, shaking of hands, mm. um, stoop posture, um, lack of facial expression. It could be um, non-motor symptoms could be, um, um, uh, what's the name? Um, yeah. Sorry, please. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, um, constipation. You can speak down, we'll come to you. Yeah, constipation. Oh, good. Constipation. You could have um, anxiety, depression, mm. uh, um, and all these at the onset of the Parkinson's, disease. Yeah. The onset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Empress, yeah. you are an advocate, and you also are a person who's living with Parkinson's disease. Yes. I want you to tell me about your story. How how did you? Uh, well, how, what was the journey like to get in diagnosed? Because I know that um, it's it, it takes a long time to even know what the symptoms are to begin with before you get a diagnosis, especially in Nigeria. At first, it's very difficult to get diagnosed if you are in the wrong place, in the wrong environment. I mean, I started going to the hospital on time, but they never diagnosed me of Parkinson's. Mm. Some, some of them asked me to run some tests, which I didn't which never resulted to them finding out it was Parkinson's. It took me one year and eight months before I was later diagnosed that it was Parkinson's. One challenge we have with this um, medical condition is getting the right diagnosis. I, was, I quickly started visiting General Hospital, but they never saw it as Parkinson's. I ran tests, I did so many things. No one thought it was Parkinson's only till I was referred to Ikeja Hospital. That was where I was asked to go and run another test again, which I didn't even bother to do. I was later asked to go back to my state because I was getting depressed, mm. getting suicidal. Everything was just turning upside down. I couldn't brush my teeth by myself. I couldn't stir my food in the pot. I couldn't bathe myself very well. I couldn't um, keep the house clean. All my uh, daily chores, I couldn't do them the way I used to. Before I couldn't work, I lost, I lost my job. I was referred to, I was, I was advised to go back home to my family so I can have people around me. Then someone asked me to meet a doctor, a neurologist, who is um, Dr. Imari Agbe of FEM, um, FEM Diagnostics in Benin City. He saw me, asked me to go for a brain scan. I did the brain scan. He did physical examination on me and discovered that it was Parkinson's. I was a bit relieved because at least it's something I can manage. It's not something that does not have medication. It's not something that will just lead to death immediately. There are some ways one can really manage the Parkinson's. So. Mm. Priscilla, uh, Empress, in, in that time before you were diagnosed, I'm sure, or what was it like, you know, being able, because you said you couldn't clean, you couldn't cook, yeah. you couldn't even do your daily chores. Was there stigmatization as well in that period before your diagnosis? Yes, there was. Because I'm very young and they don't expect me to be walking slowly. They don't expect me to be shaking. They don't expect me to be acting like an old woman or something. I, I lost weight, appetite, can't focus very well. 
anything I want to say, I have to count my ways, and I couldn't write properly mm. like I used to. So mostly in the open space, maybe in the market or something, I want to get money out of my bag to pay for my fare, find it difficult to unzip my bag, find it difficult to move my legs while I'm in the market. You know, the place is always rowdy. The people will be looking at me like I'm carrying a communicable disease. Mm. So I decided to restrict myself from going out to the public most times. Wow. But, but things are better now with medication. Very, very okay. okay. Um, let me turn to you again, John. What's the current state of awareness in Nigeria about Parkinson's disease? Uh, awareness is a bit um, low, and um, because we just have the Adil Media Salud Parkinson's Foundation trying to steer the course of awareness in mm. Nigeria and some part of Africa. Um, the current statistics of people with PD, Parkinson's PD, we call yeah. it PD, for sure, um, for sure um, is not certain because some people, like she said, you know, not everybody wants to come out. So some people are still hiding with this disease. And it is only when you come out, you can receive the proper care. You mm -hmm. can receive the proper diagnosis and you can start the treatment. Parkinson's disease does not have, does not have a cure yet mm. the cause of it is not known it's not certain and the cure is not known you can only manage it so regarding awareness now there's yeah. one thing for a, uh, um, a, a person living with parkinson's to know about it's another thing for the community to also know about how much is being done regarding that kind of awareness for individuals not living with it but living with people living with it to be able to help manage the disease so um, our foundation has been promoting awareness. Um, we started off in 2022, and we have been trying as much as possible to reach out to as many um, hospitals, through media channels, through local communities, do awareness in homes, um, in religious settings, just to ensure that we reach out to um, a large number of people because Parkinson's, the way it is char characterized, um, many people believe that it is for the people in the older um, age mm. from 60, 50 and above. But we have young onset Parkinson's, like her, she's a young onset Parkinson. And um, if you don't identify the symptoms on time, you cannot reach out to somebody that can help you. And like she said, you know, it took a neurologist to first diagnose her with Parkinson's. The theme, uh, we understand that Thursday was uh, hashtag World Parkinson's, Parkinson's Day, day yeah. right? And I understand that the theme for this year's uh, awareness celebrations is hashtag ABCs of PDs. I'd like for you to give us more insight on that uh, coming from the standpoint of a CSO. Yes, it's for us to simplify Parkinson's so that everybody can understand what it involves. The simplicity in the symptoms, if you have shaking of hands, if you have slowness in movement, if you have um, a, a constipation, finding it difficult to swallow, so many symptoms is attached to Parkinson's and if you start seeing those symptoms, it is expected for you to visit the mm -hmm. clinic or see a neurologist mm. because they can easily diagnose you within 10 minutes. Oh, wow. A neurologist can diagnose you what a general doctor can take. You know, she said something about um, doing a lot of tests and all the, all the rest of it, but they couldn't come to a conclusion. And it happens to a lot of people. Mm. The issue about it is that early diagnosis will help them slow down the progression because you can live your best life with Parkinson's. Uh, I want to find out from, uh, from Empress. Empress. Um, regarding the prevalence, like, have you, how many people in a, let's say in a year, do you meet with the same condition? Uh, and how many people have you made or helped understand, since you're an advocate, that this might be what you're suffering from? Go get checked. Um, I've helped some persons, not a lot. Anytime I see someone walking by on the road and I see the way the person is moving, you see that shaking on, what, Shaking or no Symptoms, shaking, all of that. the movement, the stiffness of the neck, and some other things. I just walk close to the person and ask questions. 
I introduced myself and I asked questions. Are you on any medication? Was your neck like this before I know that? I, I've spoken to some persons and I've also taken them to Adel Mide Cello Parkinson's Foundation to get a proper care mm. after they must have gone to see a doctor. Okay. Then I introduced them to Adel Mide the Cello Parkinson's Foundation for new, um, um, physiotherapy, uh, exercises and all that. Everything at Adel Mide the Salud Pakistan Foundation is free. So mm -hmm. I introduced them down there. Some of them will think they don't have the money. They don't, I just tell them, encourage them to come. When you come, you see what's happening over there. Mm -hmm. I'm also having Parkinson's like you. Yeah. That's after, 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 after yeah. knowing that yeah. what they, what so they there are having are Parkinson's. there are many people who do not know uh, There are many people. Some something. of yeah. them, are, they go to the church. They want deliverance. Some are, of them are wow. on the mountain. I, I know of somebody, I'm still begging her, convincing her. She's taking the medication, her doctor, she has seen a doctor, but she needs physiotherapy exercises mm. and all the counseling and all that we are getting at ADPF. But she insists it's, a, it's an attack. Somebody threw it to her from her husband's side and all that. So I'm still trying my best to convince more yeah, persons. That. Right. I, I'm so glad she said this because um, there's also the factor of culture mm. in, yes. in our mental, on our mentality and the social, cultural you know, factors that are there. Yeah. Um, at the Omea Disillu Foundation, I think it's one of the first and only, maybe, that has Absolutely. been champ championing uh, our Parkinson's. And when you look at Empress, she doesn't really show the symptoms, yeah, you don't right? Really know. She, she, doesn't, she doesn't have the jitters, she's not shaking, her voice is quivering, she's sitting, she's talking, walking, you know. And that's all because of the free cancelling and everything else that you do at Disillu. But what are some of the challenges that you have faced? Well, one of the challenges is... Um, Funding to run the organization as a non-governmental and not-for-profit organization, you know. She has mentioned that our services are absolutely at no cost to the people that we uh, work with. Um, funding then, too. People accepting the fact that they have Parkinson's. Um, if you accept the fact that you have Parkinson's, you can, you know, um, open up, come around, and we can provide the proper referral. We don't diagnosed because we are not the medical institution but we have um, database. a database and we refer people to you know the clinics with neurologists more especially um, Lagos, um, um, Lagos uh, uh, teaching hospital mm -hmm. and um, university teaching hospital so um, our, 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 some of the challenges cuts across you know different demographics right. because the elderly you know some of them say okay it's old age I don't want to, you know, some, the young people, ah, nothing is wrong with me, you understand? And all of, the, all of this affects people coming out. There are quite a number of people with prevalence studies, there are quite a number of people that have Parkinson's, but they've already termed it as another ailment, mm -hmm. maybe old age or something. And until we start coming out, we cannot raise awareness. Until we start having conversations like this. We cannot Sorry? raise awareness. Yeah. Question for the young people who um, are listening right now and want to uh, make their brain health better. What steps can they take? Um, we don't, uh, is it, can you ward, uh, ward off Parkinson's? Is it something you can ward off by... Taking you know, practical steps, leaning healthier to promote your brain health. Okay. Like I mentioned earlier, um, the way Parkinson's is, is not like... Um, there is a particular cause, you know. Mm, it's like the, cancer. The scientific um, evidence that we have is genetic uh, predisposition oh, okay. or environmental factors. However, you know, she mentioned something that we need all need to be doing exercises, exercises, regular real exercises, real actual exercises. Exercise. Move, yeah, yeah. Mazzino, move your real body. Exercise. Move yeah, your that, body. Yeah, Mazzino, move I know, your body. Like, uh, move your body. <laughs> I, I'm going to take your advice on that. Mazzino, now. move your body. Because I live a very sedentary life. And even when I'm going from home here, I'm inside the car sitting down. That's not exercise. No. Um, but exercise is an actual, uh, uh, well, I don't want to say deterrent, but it, it's, it's an actual uh, factor that we could use to help stimulate our brain health. Yes. That is so strange because I thought yeah. perhaps maybe something else that involves activating the brain itself. Like our center, you know, we have a low impact gym. We have boxing studio named after Muhammad Ali, who had Parkinson's before yes. he passed. That's yes, true. Uh, we have a dance studio. We have a support group. 
where people like Empress and people with Parkinson's come together, sit together, and you know, have a relaxing, a safe heaven where they can discuss, freely discuss mm -hmm. their issue and provide solutions for, for them. And we also have a program yeah. called Micrographia, Overcoming Micrographia. One of the symptoms of Parkinson's is, you know, when your handwriting becomes smaller, oh. or when your hand starts, mm -hmm. shaking you know, it's shaking. Micrograph your micrographia, yeah. So we have a program, you know, um, that we do for the member, and that program helps mm -hmm. them, you know, you them. might want to share your location as well for Adeomi De Solu Parkinson's. And also, would you be taking contributions as well? What is like when it comes to, you, you yeah. said there's funding issues. Yeah. Um, so please share all those details. We're more than happy. Okay. Um, our, our, our website um, is um, www.desaluparkinsonsfoundation.org. And you can reach out to us on any of the social media handles um, at adpf.org. Uh, our center is at Surulere, mm -hmm. Alaka Estate. Uh, it's a serene environment okay. where people can, you okay. know, have a relaxed atmosphere yeah. and enjoy themselves. I wanted to say something. You mentioned one name, uh, Muhammad Ali. And because you have Parkinson's doesn't mean that it's the end of your life. You can actually Absolutely. Want to achieve yeah. One person I know that actually had Parkinson's or does have Parkinson's currently, he put out a documentary recently, Michael J. Fox. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. He yeah. is a fantastic actor. Yeah, it's an oh, actress. What's the actor, movie? Beg your pardon. Coming Back uh, to, coming back back to, to the, the Future. future. Oh, that is Brilliant. such a gem. Brilliant. Oh, I love that. I mean, let's not go too far. There's Empress as well. <laughs> There's Empress as well. Who's living life as <laughs> well. I'm looking trying to highlight healthy, the fact that people you know? have gone on to do even great work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, J. So Fox was yeah. not just uh, re relegated to movies. He also went on to have his own sitcom and then... He's put out a documentary. He's also a producer and a director. Producer, well. director yeah. as well. Yes. So he's done a, a number of things. Yeah. And we also hope that uh, this, likewise yourself, Empress, and everyone who's at uh, ADPF, and that's Adeomi Desolu mm. Foundation, a Parkinson's Foundation. We we hope that you know the future mm. will be bright indeed for both of you, mm. Empress. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate you for doing this with us, and also to you, John, as well. Thank and uh, thank you. Uh, that was John Akinola. He is a senior programs manager at Kim Adewumi Desalu Parkins Foundation and Empress Priscilla. She's a Parkinson's advocate and also a member of the foundation as well. And we'll be talking about Parkinson's disease.